So uh, I want to continue my anal analysis of the phone conversation that I had with uh, Matt, alias Rezzo. And before I begin, I just want to say that I have nothing... Well, I don't know if it's true or not. I mean, I, I, you know, uh, I don't want to, um, Matt has a way of, uh, not taking things like insults, uh, and I think that's seriously enough to, uh, we are, it's incredible of all the things that I have said to him that we are still actually talking and that's on Matt because uh and I know he's got different uh agendas because he's trying to get higher ratings for his show and he's using me to do it so whatever you know whatever floats his boat whatever turns him on you know it is what it is so there was something that bugged me. You know, a lot of things that he said kind of bugged me. Uh, and some of the other things were just regular conversation. But I don't know if he's suggesting that I'm a, uh, that I'm a Nazi, that I have um, feelings about that, because that's just not very inaccurate because he's comparing the uh, replacement theory about what I believe in, and it has nothing to do with with the Jews. I mean, uh, I went to school with them, and I learned a lot about their culture and ways. The only thing, um, well, I'm not even going to get into that, because this is ridiculous. And I think I'm more on the, uh, and I'm not even racist. I just have a viewpoint that, uh, white people need to survive because we're being um, attacked on all sides. Uh, racism, reverse discrimination is taking place now. They say in the not too near distant future that uh, white people are going to be a minority in their own country. And with the way the uh, administration is conducting these uh, uh, open borders and letting the people pass through so they can vote for them and never lose an election, if that's not being um, anti-white, I don't know what is. Remember, it was the white people that discovered, well, uh, they say Columbus, whatever. It doesn't matter. What I'm saying is that... Uh, the real European people, the white race, uh, not not only um, came to this country, but made it, you know, we have all your scientists and your physicists and your uh, uh, people that made, uh, that created the, uh, the bomb. Uh, I don't think uh, people from uh, Africa would have had the same knowledge and, and and a lot of those European scientists were Jewish. So uh, if anything, we need uh, more Jewish uh, because we know we you know the, the the bond between America and the Jewish people is a very very strong bond. And uh, at times I was a little petite, but uh, <clears throat> you know I, I'm not. I'm not. I think I've uh, realized that, you know, and there was a lot of Jewish gangsters back in the day, and I'm into uh, the subject of of gangsterism, mafia, Cosa Nostra with the Italian people, because they had, see, the, the, the thing is they had respect for the neighborhood, and they had respect for each other. Yeah, they were gangsters, and they, you know, killed each other, but I'm talking about the Italians, but the Italians were the real deal in this country, and... Uh, uh, so are the other European people. And what Matt said, I didn't like. And he was talking about a story about how Howard Stern invited the Ku Klux Klan guy and how they were making fun of him and, 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 and laughing at him. 
that is that is nobody to laugh at. Okay, I don't approve of murders. Uh, I meant thy murder. I meant thy whatever. But um, you know, uh, especially in today's times, we might need that message from that group. We might for the white people to survive. That's why they did that march down in, in Charlottesville. You know, uh, I wouldn't have said Jews because, uh, you know, I just, I just wouldn't. I don't, I don't see them. You know, I mean, uh, I understand the political situations of why those people would, would, would say that, but it, 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 it's fine with me. As far as the Jews go, it's fine with me. You know, I'll, I accept them, and uh, you know, it wouldn't really bother me, but. I think the, the the main problem that's not being addressed is uh, the uh, the way things are going today. They've changed for the worse. Uh, I mean, uh, the, this reverse discrimination going on right now in commercials. Every time you see a commercial, you see a, a black person. Uh, that's reverse discrimination. Uh, they replaced Jake from State Farm with a black guy. That's reverse discrimination. Uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, that's a terrorist group with discriminatory uh, or a, a site. Look, another thing that you have to understand is that, is that diseases, we have now monkeypox, uh, and it's primarily in New York City. We had AIDS many years ago. We had a lot of these different types of diseases. Do you know these diseases come from Africa? Because Africa is still an undeveloped country. And as long as you have undeveloped countries, people that don't have any knowledge, they don't know how to survive, they don't know how to do agriculture, they're, they're just lame, you know, they, because they have no brain. Uh, that, that rhyme. Lame with no brain. Then you're going to continue to have the worst diseases. I mean, Ebola. All these horrific diseases came from Africa because they don't practice uh, cleanliness. They're animals. They, um, they, uh, you know, they, they encourage disease among themselves. Uh, there's no modernization of sanitation and, you know, any kind of mo modern plumbing uh, maybe you find that in Johannesburg, but uh, or in a city of like uh, Laos, uh, Lagos. I think that's in Nigeria. I mean, it is a basically it is a savage, dangerous climate, and as long as uh, and, and nobody does anything about it, uh, this country doesn't do anything about it. You know, we do our thing, but it's okay to let them come here spread their disease. As a matter of fact, we got the spotted fly that's from China. And it's here in the metropolitan area and it's destroying crops. And we've had the, the Asian long no, uh, Asian long leg beetle and all these horrific, disgusting bugs that come from Africa or they come from China, but they don't come from here. And that is a threat toward the survival of our species. And America, we can't tolerate that. And we can't have these people coming here and spreading diseases. And there's no priority about that. Nobody does a damn thing about that. Nobody cares about that. What kind of a goddamn country are we living in that doesn't care about our security? But more importantly, like I said, when he said about the Ku Klux Klan guy uh, appearing on Howard Stern, look, uh, like I said, I'm not into murders and hangings and some of the bad stuff that these people did. But somebody has to speak up for the white man, the real white man, not the one uh, in Washington that, that are elitist that have millions of dollars because whoever heard of a senator or a congressman making $275,000 a year and then uh, they come out as millionaires within a few years. That is corruption. Those are the white elitist people 
to me, are just as bad as the people I criticize uh, in the in the black community. They are just as bad, if not the worst, and they're white, and they do a disservice, and they're disgusting, and they don't give a damn about the average white person because they're rich and they don't they're elitist. You know, I'm talking about the white people who are middle class that they're trying to destroy the hardworking white man and white woman, okay? We're being victimized, we're being abused, and we're being forgotten about, and we're being betrayed. And that's the bottom line there, Ratso, Ratso, okay? Stick that in your pipe and smoke it.